time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Coming in at number 69, nice. We got linebacker special teamer, new addition, Zeke Turner. Ezekiel Turner's his name, but depending on where you're looking, it's Zeke or it's Ezekiel. He goes by Zeke. And this dude has been a mainstay in the NFC West for six consecutive years on the Arizona Cardinals as their special teams ace. Yeah, he's a linebacker, and he can fill in very similar to George Odom. Uh, special teams is what he does. Linebacker's just a little bit extra. That's the position he plays. Uh, he comes in number 69 for us. Now, his highest ranking out of all four of the 1 through 91 rankings we did was 66. His lowest was 81. Um, Got to give credit to Josh, Oscar, Zach, and Dave, executive producers for this series. But when you look at Zeke, it's special teams, special teams, special teams. Um, undrafted free agent out of Washington going into his seventh season, and all six have been with the Arizona Cardinals, and he's been great for them. He's been absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, if you look at just a PFF standpoint, snap standpoint, tackle standpoint, one of the better special teamers in the league. I'm very interested in, and why his contract was so low. Um, you know, $0 guaranteed. Got a $1.2 million, $1.29 million deal with us. So above, you know, the minimum, but zero guaranteed. You know, he's made $7.8 million in his career. Just kind of scrapping out on special teams. But let's dive in. Let's learn his story a little bit. He's undersized. 6'2", 214. He was a defensive back at the University of Washington and had to fight his way, walked on, wanted to play big-time football, and, you know, that Washington Chris Peterson team was stacked. Uh, you just listen to the uh, his teammates, uh, Dante Pettis, <laughs> the cat himself, John Ross, Miles Gaskin, Caleb McQuarrie, Will Disley, Vita Vea, Buda Baker. He was on there with some teams and earned a scholarship. He fought his way up. Um, 31-inch arms, shorter arms. He's undersized, 4'6", 540. Entering his 27-age season, um, 6.93 cone, change of direction is great, 30-inch vertical, 19 bench press reps. This is that hybrid safety nickel linebacker type. He would be a linebacker um, for the 49ers, but it's special teams. That's where he will make his post. And with the recent change to the kickoff rules this spells success for zeke turner a clear pathway for him to not only make this roster but to be a key contributor and you add to that the drake greenlaw injury drake greenlaw is probably going to be on the pup uh, almost guaranteed uh, with that achilles injury taking place in the super bowl he's not going to be ready till october november i'm telling you zeke turner has a great opportunity to make this roster i'd say it's well over 50 50 he's from maryland went to glenn bernie high school um you know pasadena maryland that's kind of where he was went to college at la pierce community college before transferring to the university of washington um and was just a stud kind of his size his height weight speed never allowed him to be the great you know prospect recruiting zero star recruit all those things but once he got to where he went he was a stud uh, no doubt about it as soon as he walked on campus at the university of washington contributed at a very quality team as soon as he walked in to the nfl as an undrafted free agent contributed not for a great team the arizona cardinals but the special teams and kind of what he was able to accomplish. He was on the all rookie team pro football writers association, special teams, special teamer list in 2018. So as an undrafted free agent to get any accolades whatsoever as a rookie is impressive. And he's been able to stick it out and kind of hard to get rid of him in his six years, 1700 plus special team snaps and had over 70% of the special team snaps every single year. He's been in the league. So it's not like he's had one or two good years. No, 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 no. Six solid, great years. Now, the only time he's played defense was 2022, where he had 11% defensive snaps. That was it. Um, and zero defensive snaps in 2023 on a bad defense. You know, new coach, all that stuff. That's the overall. So kind of, you know, saw the writing on the wall and left. He's a special teamer only. That, that's just what he's going to be. Now you look at just kind of what he's been able to accomplish statistically, 83 career tackles, three tackles for loss, one forced fumble, 
Um, he missed two games with a hamstring injury back in 2020. So it's somebody that you can rely on. Signed a $1.29 million deal, zero guaranteed. That's the surprise there. But $7.8 million career earnings. That's great. Um, played in 80 games. Again, 1,700 plus snaps. Now here's my favorite thing about Zeke, the consistency on special teams. He's had four out of six years above a 72 grade on pro football focus for special teams. Okay, well, what does that mean? The 49ers only had three players accomplish that last year. This dude's done it four years out of six. Charlie Warner, Samuel Womack, Jordan Mason. Well, Charlie Warner's gone. Samuel Womack, you healthy scratched all through the playoffs. Cost you in the Super Bowl big time. Uh, Jordan Mason, he's been out there too. But, like, this adds to the George Odom, DFF. You know, that type of player that you can put out there on special teams and just say, look, man, this is your job. Punt, punt return, kickoff, kickoff return. You're out on those four every single time, no matter what. Uh, probably would put them out there against uh, point X, uh, what's it called, um, field goal block and all that stuff as well. Now, how do you find space? For a Zeke Turner that's going to help your special teamers, which has been god-awful for eight consecutive years since Kyle Shanahan showed up. Doesn't matter which coordinator it is. Special team sucks for the 49ers. Has. Maybe this changes. I don't know. Uh, I'm not too sold on our coordinator. But that's just me. The 49ers usually keep five to six linebackers. Last year they kept six. In the past they've kept five at times. So who are those locks? Fred Warner, he's a lock. Devondre Campbell and the amount of guarantee they gave him, he's a lock. Uh, DFF, um, who I had a little bit lower than lock, then you look at his contract, 100% guaranteed. It's only a $2 million deal. 100% guaranteed deal. He's not getting cut. Not with what he's done on special teams. Not with, you know, he's always the first guy off the bench at the linebacker spot. I disagree with that, but they trust him. Um, Johnny Holland trusts them. So you've got Warner, you've got Campbell, you got DFF. Those are your three locks, which means there's two to three spots left. Drake Greenlaw will not count against the initial 53 because he's going to be on the pup list. So this is why I'm so high on Zeke Turner. He comes at 69 on this list, but man, I'm not, he's making the 53. I, I think that he is. Um, now, the second-tier player at the linebacker position, I think, is D. Winters by himself. I want to put him in that lock category. But, you know, Fred Warner came out and said he had the best OTA of any player. But I'm putting D. Winters just below the lock category. And then the third tier, Jalen Graham, Tatum Bethune, Zeke Turner, Curtis Robinson. Those four, they're all there. So do you keep somebody like a Tatum Bethum seventh round pick or Jalen Graham or Curtis Robinson over Zeke Turner? I don't know the answer. Um, I think Curtis Robinson, who's next up on this list and Zeke Turner, those two guys are fighting cutthroat on this special teams only type guy. Curtis Robinson brings a little bit more to the linebacker position. Zeke Turner brings a lot more to the special teams position. It's going to be cutthroat. Um, now, the good news is, yeah, you drafted Tatum Bethune in the seventh round, and I have him ahead of Zeke Turner and Curtis Robinson, but not by a lot. And Jalen Graham, not by a lot either. The consistency just hasn't been there. Special teams wasn't great either. So if you're talking about guys that can make an immediate contribution to the 49ers in 2024, which is what this countdown's all about, Man, I don't know. I think my ranking of Zeke Turner, um, I, I was the high one on him. I had him 66. I have all these guys bunched together, and it's going to be cutthroat. Curtis Robinson, Zeke Turner, Tatum Bethum, Jalen Graham. May the best man win. And, I mean, you're going to get some great competition there. Obviously, the upsides with Jalen Graham and Tatum Bethum, the you know second year and rookie player. But, man, you're losing a six-year. This dude would be probably the second-best special teamer on the 49ers day one. That's hard to pass up. That's hard to pass up. So we'll see. Zeke, uh, we're glad to have you. And hopefully you uh, become a mainstay on this. Uh, I would be delighted if we had better special teams play. Man, we need it. Uh, but for us, we'll just keep counting them down.